The early 20th century was a time when the Muslim world was faced with an existential crisis. Western powers such as Britain and Russia began to conquer the world and subjugate technologically inferior countries. As a result, many leaders in the Muslim world began to imitate every aspect of Western civilization. They were under the illusion that just because the West was superior in terms of material progress, it must also be superior in terms of culture and civilization. On the other hand, there were many brave Muslim leaders who resisted these rulers and insisted that scientific progress could be achieved without abandoning culture and religion. As a result, there was a clash between brave Muslim leaders and tyrannical Western-backed rulers such as Ataturk, Reza Shah and Amanullah Khan. In 1925, the British-backed dictator known as Reza Shah came to power in Iran. After coming to power, Reza Shah began to implement cultural reforms based on the blind imitation of the West. Reza Shah was inspired by the reforms of Mustafa Kamal Ataturk, who banned Islamic rituals such as the call to prayer and forced people to listen to Western music and wear Western clothing. These reforms were only implemented after the massacre of thousands of innocent people. After returning from his visit to Turkey, Reza Shah implemented similar laws in Iran. For the first time, nightclubs and bars were opened in Iran. Men were banned from wearing traditional Iranian clothes such as turbans and were forced to wear European suits and hats. Women were also encouraged to adopt Western clothing. Anyone who spoke out against these reforms was either killed or imprisoned. In 1935, Ayatollah Hussein Tabatabai Qomi, who had written a letter to Reza Shah kindly advising him to reverse his dress code policy, was arrested by the government. This arrest led to a huge protest in the city of Mashhad. This protest was led by the charismatic preacher known as Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Bahlu. Sheikh Bahlul organized a sit-in protest at the Gohar Shah Mosque and demanded that Reza Shah change his Western policies. Thousands of people gathered at the mosque. Soon, military police surrounded the mosque. The military stated that if people did not disperse within one day, violent action would be taken. The military ordered the crowd to disperse, but the people did not obey. Therefore, the military broke into the Gohar Shad Mosque, killing dozens of people inside the mosque. Shortly after this incident, Sheikh Bahlul declared a rebellion against the government. Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Bahlul called on protesters to disperse and to return the next day with weapons. The next day, the army of Sheikh Bahlul killed 20 Iranian soldiers and took their weapons. Within just one day, all troops stationed in Mashhad had fled the city. However, this rebellion was soon crushed by the military when Reza Shah sent reinforcements. Soldiers entered the city and massacred around 5,000 people in Mashhad. The following day, the dead were buried in mass graves and most of the senior scholars in the city were arrested and exiled from Mashhad.
Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Bahlul managed to escape and crossed the border into Afghanistan. However, Sheikh Bahlul was soon arrested by the Afghan government due to pressure from Reza Shah. The horrific massacre at the hands of Reza Shah caused many supporters of Reza Shah to turn against him and question his legitimacy. For example, Muhammad Wali Asadi, who was the governor of Mashhad, witnessed this massacre and therefore he condemned the actions of the military and was executed as a result. The Gohar Shah the Mosque massacre was never forgotten by Iranians and it fueled hatred against the Pahlavi dynasty. The massacre was also used as a rallying cry during the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Imam, Imam, Khumayn al-Imam